And now to NBC5 investigates a follow-up on a company the Securities and Exchange Commission has accused of running a Ponzi scheme and taking hundreds of millions of dollars from people in Latino communities, including here in Chicago. Our team has discovered the number of potential victims is much more widespread than first believed, and the company has continued to solicit money long after it was ordered to stop. Here's Patrick Fazio. That money was for our dreams, for our real life. We lose everything. NBC5 Investigates has heard from people around the Chicago area who say they've lost their life savings. Bad, bad. I lost $200,000 on my life. They're demanding justice after investing in crypto FX. At least in our office, we have received hundreds of emails from uh, victims of these uh, scammers just here in Chicagoland area, and we're seriously concerned about these, uh, these scammers continue to operate. Chicago Alderman Byron Sucho Lopez is calling for a statewide investigation. In September, a Securities and Exchange Commission complaint first accused crypto FX of running a Ponzi scheme. The SEC also calls this an ongoing multi-million dollar securities fraud involving as many as 40,000 investors and as much as $224 million. Mauricio Chavez is the CEO and founder of CryptoFX based in Houston and recruited investors from across the country. In Chicago. Excellent. In this video from last August, Chavez welcomed people from Chicago to his seminar in Houston with promises of becoming a millionaire. Ponzi schemes are extraordinarily common. Unfortunately, we see small ones and also large ones, both here in Illinois and all across the country. Andrew Stoltman is a Chicago attorney who specializes in securities fraud. Typically, in these sorts of Ponzi schemes, we see investment losses of over 90 percent. So where has all the money gone? According to the SEC investigation, Chavez and his partners spent much of investors' money on houses, cars, and credit cards, as well as travel, restaurants, jewelry, and even adult entertainment. In September, a federal judge ordered CryptoFX to stop operating and froze its assets. But NBC5 investigates uncovered surveillance photos in the court case showing Chavez counting cash at his office after his business was frozen and then leaving with the laptop and cash. And these court documents show CryptoFX raised more than $7 million in the week after he was ordered to stop. We've also discovered these contracts that appear to show the company continued raising money well into October from people here in Chicago. And we found these court documents saying the company continued to solicit new investments as recently as last month. And if the SEC is convinced that the scheme is continuing, there's a real chance that criminal authorities, specifically the FBI, could come in and arrest the perpetrators. CEO Mauricio Chavez has not been charged with a crime. We have reached out repeatedly to the attorney for crypto FX, who has continued to decline comment. But in response to that SEC filing, the company denies all allegations. If you have given money to crypto FX, the court has set up an email and phone number so you can contact Contact them with your story. You'll find that information on our website, NBCChicago.com. Patrick Fazio, NBC5 Investigates.